Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are at the first day of May Lee Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is prefix and suffix search. So here the input given is a dictionary with words or strings and an F where the starting or the prefix and suffix of any word in the dictionary. And we have to return the index of that word after being searched in the dictionary. So here the rules given are if that index or word is not existing in the dictionary, then we have to return minus one. Also, if there is more than one valid index, then we have to return the largest of them. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given input. Consider the first line is the dictionary words where apple and ape. In the second line is the word we have to find and they have given the prefix and suffix of that word. So now here, if you want to search for the word which starts with A and end with E, we have two words in our dictionary, which is of index 0 and index 1. And it is said that we have to return the largest index if there is more than one valid output. So in this case, largest index is 1, so 1 is going to be our output. If the words we have to find with prefix F and ends with K suffix then in that case, we don't have that word exist in our dictionary and we have to return minus one. So here in our problem statement, they have asked us to implement two methods. The first one is word list and the second one is F. So now our word list function is used to maintain or add the words given to a repository or a data structure. And F is going to search for that word in a dictionary. So as usual, we are going to implement this also in Java. So Java provides an easier implementation for this function. So we are going to discuss in this video both the easier implementation as well as the logical implementation. So first, going to the easier implementation, we have the string functions, which is start with and end with. So string dot start with is going to help us to search for any word or determine whether the word starts with the given characters or not. Same way ends with is going to determine whether the string is ending with those characters or not. So we are going to get the help of these methods to find the prefix and suffix of a word. So consider we are going to have another input array string array which is named as input and we are going to store all our string variables given for dictionary in this input string. So once it is saved, we are going to iterate all the words in the given input and check each word whether it is starting with and ending with the given prefixes or not. If it is starting with and ending with the given prefixes, then we are going to return its index. If not, we are going to return minus one. So it is very simple by using these two methods. So before going to a second approach, let's see what is the time complexity. So in our word list function we are simply going to put all our dictionary words into another string array input so in that case it is going to take constant time so moving on to our f which is going to search for all the words prefix and suffix so we are going to iterate all the words once so for that it is going to take m time and for each word we are going to check start with and end with which is going to take another time of length of this given string so overall, it is going to take big go of n into l time complexity. So let's see the code now before moving on to our second approach. So as I said, I'm going to declare a string array input and inside my word filter, I'm simply going to assign all my words inside the string array words to my input. So this is done and this is going to take constant time for doing this operation. So inside my f method, I'm going to iterate all my words in the input array. So inside I'm going to check whether my word starts with the prefix given in the method. Also ends with the suffix. If this is true, then we are going to return the index. If not, we are simply going to return minus one. So let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. 
okay this solution is time limit exceeded so let's go for our second approach now so though our first method seems to be simple it is not going to work at every place sometimes we need to apply logic to find a better solution so here we are going to get the help of hash map to implement our second approach so what i'm going to do is i'm going to maintain a hash map which is going to have the suffix and prefix of a word and then its index so now starting with having our word apple i'm going to save all possible suffix and prefix combinations for example a can be a single prefix and e can be a single suffix so i'm going to map each prefix and suffix with a hash symbol as a key and its value as the index of the word so here the index is going to be zero and again i'm going to have a p hash e comma zero and it goes like a p hash l e comma zero and again it is going to be a p p hash e comma zero and so on till we put all possible combinations of prefix and suffix key into our hash map same way if we are having another word say c as our second word in dictionary in that case we are again going to add s hash a comma 1 comma 1 so these things are the possible combination of prefix and suffix keys for the word s e a c so once this is done our hash map is ready with any possible prefix and suffix of a given word so in that case our f function is simply going to call if suppose the prefix is a and suffix is e then it is going to search in our hash map a hash e so if it is found then in that case we are going to return the value for that particular key if not we are going to return minus one so to implement the first method which is word filters we are going to add all possible combinations of prefix and suffix for any given word so this is going to work yeah big o of n l square time as we are going to repeat the operation for every given word and it is going to perform for the given length of the word because it is going to split all possible prefix and suffix but our f function is going to run so faster because it is simply going to search for that key in hash map and return the value so it is going to run in constant time so let's try the solution whether this is time limit exceeding or not hope this should be accepted because as search function is the more often called function that's why it was time limit exceeding in our previous solution but here as our f function is going to be working in a constant time and our dictionary function is going to take more time it must be accepted so let's see so here goes our second solution So yes, as I said, I'm going to declare a hash map. So inside this function, I'm going to add all possible prefix and suffix keys. For that, I'm going to iterate my list of words first. And let's say our prefix is going to be i and suffix is going to be j. So here, if you see the constraint given is the words dot length must be less than 10 that is the total number of words may vary to 15000 but each word's length must be less than 10 also the prefix and suffix length must be less than 10 so this loop goes if i is less than or equal to 10 and i is less than words dot w dot length So simply we are checking whether our prefix is goes less than the word's length. So we are going to put the values in our map such a way that substring of 0 comma i which is actually the prefix we can get from this iteration plus a hash sign to identify the difference between prefix and suffix and substring of the j iteration so 
so here we are taking the substring of the whole word minus j so that it start getting the prefix from the last character of the word towards inside and w is nothing but the index of the word given so we have now set up our hash map with all possible prefix and suffix keys hopefully this method will be called only once when the word has been set to the dictionary and most of the time i hope f called more time so that our time complexity or time to execute this code reduces so let me update this so here we are simply going to check whether a map is having the key or not so i'm going to check whether map dot contains key prefix plus hash plus the fix if it is contains key then we are going to return the value if not we are going to simply return minus 1 so yes hope this will be accepted let's run and try so yes let's submit yes the solution is accepted and you can find this code in my description and yes it runs in 23 milliseconds so thanks for watching the video if you like the video hit like and subscribe thank you